Hi, Zoe Triska here from Huffington Post Books. We're on the floor with, at BEA with Stacey London, who just authored the book, The Truth About Style. How are you doing today, Stacey? I'm very well, Zoe. You look fabulous. That's like the biggest honor I could possibly ever get. So there are a lot of how-to style books. What makes your book different than the others? Yeah, it's not a how-to, it's why not. It's why women don't have style when they can and they should, um, as opposed to the idea that you, you don't really process how-to information if there's something holding you back from absorbing it. And I try to look a little bit at that through uh, a bunch of different women, including myself. Um, I consider us all to be case studies, and there are 10 in the book. And it's more about the mindset, the different kinds of mindsets that hold us back from sort of having our true kind of authentic style. I know that sounds like really kind of self-helpy, and in one way it is, and in another, you're just gonna be like, oh my God, I can totally rock that skirt. I think every woman needs a little bit of help. I mean, we can all use a little bit of help sometimes from time to time, right? Yeah, I mean, I think one of the interesting things is that, you know, I've been doing What Not To Wear on TLC for, it will be 10 years for me this fall. Congratulations. And thanks, I know, I'm old. And, um, you know, I think that one of the things that we forget is that when people are in a style rut, there's usually always an underlying cause. And that's what we, we sort of examine on the show, but we never really talk about that specifically. And my co-host and I co-wrote a book together called Dress Your Best years ago, 2005. And that's a how-to. Yeah. Your body shape is this. Here are the clothes that you wear. It's like color forms, and it's all about geometry. Right. This is about what you need to think about before you can get to the geometry. What are your top three style tips, if you had to give them? My top three? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, what oh, my women? God. <laughs> I am totally stumped by that question. Well, don't waste a waste. The, the key, the oh. cornerstone oh, of body yeah. shape well, for women is that you have to define a waist. That would be the first thing. Don't buy things just because they're on sale. I know that. Problem. Yeah, yeah, right, because I'm sorry, I don't care if it was reduced from like a kajillion dollars to seven. The fact is, if it's lumpy and bumpy and big and doesn't fit, it doesn't matter. You'll never wear it, and that was seven dollars you could have spent on a great latte or a pair of earrings at Forever 21. <laughs> um, and third is, um, I guess it, it would be one of the big truths that I talk about in the book, which is that fashion and style are not synonymous. Fashion is about an industry, and that is about making you feel like you need to be someone else or buy things so you can look like someone else. Style is about the individual, and it is about self-enhancement. How are you enjoying BEA so far? I totally am having a ball at BEA. First of all, there are a lot of people wearing bad shoes. So that's always fun because then I can comment on them. Um, and I don't want BEA to become an excuse for bad footwear. So somebody has to speak up. But everybody is so enthusiastic and it's so fun to be here. I have met so many cool librarians. Shut up. I want to be a librarian in my next life. Well, thank you so much for your time, Stacey. It was great, I'm sorry. Zoe Triska for bookexpoamerica.com.